Does ringing in the ears relate to autoimmune or inflammation? This is JJ Virgin, four time New York Times bestselling author, celebrity nutrition expert, and fitness hall of famer. I've been on a lifelong quest for answers to the toughest health questions. And now I'm sharing what I found with you. Welcome to Ask the Health Expert. Carol Steinbeck from the Superimmune Secrets Masterclass asked this question. Does ringing in the ears relate to autoimmune disease or inflammation? Hey, it's JJ, and today I've got autoimmune expert Dr. Terry Walls with me. She has over 3 million views and counting on her TEDx talk where she shares her personal MS story of how she ditched the wheelchair and got back her life through diet and lifestyle. A former international taekwondo competitor from an Iowa farm family, she now spends her time as a clinical professor at the University of Iowa, researching the impact of therapeutic lifestyle interventions on MS symptoms. Stay with me. We'll be right back with the answer. The holidays are here, and so is my annual holiday gift guide, loaded with great ideas and special deals on gifts everyone will love, including Dry Farm Wines, FX Chocolate, and Anne Marie Skin Care. Get your shopping done with ease, and be sure to gift yourself, too. Go to jjvirgin.com forward slash holiday to get your copy of my exclusive holiday gift guide. That's jjvirgin.com forward slash holiday. Ringing in the ears, uh, is the scientific term is called tinnitus, and that's actually quite common. It's a reflection of uh, damage to the uh, nerve cells that uh, uh, do the hearing for us. And as those nerve cells are damaged, uh, the brain will fill in that sound relating to this ringing or tripping in the ears. That damage can occur as a result of trauma. Uh, a common cause of that might be excess noise toxicity. But another cause can be an autoimmune problem, and it can also be made much worse with excessive inflammation. Therefore, uh, all of my patients who have issues related to ear ringing uh, buzzing in their ears, uh, tripping sounds. I work with them to address their uh, nutrition. We want to reduce the excess and inappropriate inflammation. Uh, and I want to evaluate them for a possible autoimmune process or autoimmune condition. Uh, the first steps I have them take is to uh, get rid of the sugar, get rid of the processed foods. We uh, discuss uh, gluten and casein. These are two proteins that people often have sensitivity to and may not realize that they have problems with those two proteins. And so I'll recommend that they go on a gluten-free and dairy-free diet. If they're willing, I also have them uh, remove eggs. These simple changes can be uh, incredibly helpful. Uh, in addition, some other strategies that can help with the ear ringing is the addition of white noise. Uh, and white noise is noise that has uh, the full frequency of sounds in it. Uh, you might think of that as um, a babbling brook, uh, running water, uh, the uh, sound of waves uh, on a beach. Uh, or you could get that by uh, tuning into a old-time radio and you uh, dial in between stations. You get static. That sort of sounds like... <sighs> Uh, that also is the uh, full spectrum of sound. Uh, so that's another uh, strategy. Uh, some other folks will use uh, background music, environmental sounds, uh, such as uh, the background sounds of a meadow uh, or a uh, uh, gentle rain or a uh, background of a uh, running uh, water in a stream. But again, for, for everyone, I want them to lower their inflammation levels and to lower their autoimmune processes. And this really begins with diet quality. Get rid of the junk, uh, eat more vegetables, uh, and also, if you can, uh, go gluten-free, dairy-free at a minimum. 
This is JJ with Ask the Health Expert. I do this five times a week, so make sure you never miss a show by going to subscribe to JJ.com.